if you looked at the country, it was broken down. There was no infrastructure, there was no money, there was uh, no public service, there was uh, nothing except perhaps uh, most visible dead bodies across the entire nation, in every valley, in every stream, in every shrub, in every house, on every street were scattered corpses, dead bodies across, and dogs and birds of the prey, of the air, feasting on the human corpses across the entire nation. So there was so much stench everywhere. So the smell of death, the smell of destruction, decomposing bodies, a state of hopelessness. As the forces moved around, the liberation forces, the people kept pointing at people that had committed genocide. And so they kept arresting people. Across the nation, so many detainees were rounded up. There were so many competing interests. So one, you had the, the government, the new government, that had to assert its authority, had to prove its worth. Second, you had all these people in the prison. You had to find a way of judging them. You can't keep them in prison forever without trial. Three, there was a cry for justice from the survivors of genocide. Try them. Give us justice. Actually, some of them were saying, kill them. They have killed our people. And then you had the friends, the international community. Oh, justice delayed is justice denied. The state had to find a way of dealing with this crisis. So we put in place special chambers to try them, special prosecutors. I think the first conviction on 23rd March, 96. But by 99, it was clear. We we'll never go, we had, I think, tried maybe about 300, 350 cases only. So you still had more than 200,000 in prison. You could not handle that kind of caseload using the traditional Western type of justice. And so people started debating, is there another way? And so a decision was made that let's try other alternatives. They tried everything you can think about, didn't work, until we zeroed down on Gachacha an old, traditional, tested um, conflict resolution mechanism. So we used that concept to develop something that would be able to deal with justice here. And so, for the first time in the history of any legal system that I know of, the victims of the crime of genocide sat together with the perpetrators or the relatives of the perpetrators to judge one of their own is a starting point for the healing. Inyiko gacaca zatangijwe mu bihe bibiri by'ingenzi. Igihe cy'ambere zatangijwe mu kiciro cy'ikitegererezo aho zatangijwe mu mirenge 118 hanyuma ziza gutangira mu gihugu cyose no kuvuga mu mirenge igihumbi 545. Kubirebana rero niburanisha ry'imanza twatangije imanza muri ya mirenge nanone y'ikitegererezo ku itariki ya 10 zo kwezi kwa gatatu mu mwaka wa 2025 hanyuma ku rwego rw'igihugu zitangira nyuma y'ikusanya makuru mu gihugu cyose ku itariki ya 15 zo kwezi kwa karindwi mu mwaka wa 2026 mu ntangiriro gacaca itekerezwa urukiko rwa yarugizwe n'inyanga mu gahe 19 n'abasimbura batanu ariko kugira ngo rushobore kuba rwatangira imirimo yarwo hagomba kuboneka abantu nibura 15 uko imirimo y'inkiko gacaca yagiye itera imbere uwo mubare wagiye eh, ugabanywa kubera ko byagaragaraga ko kuhuza abo bantu bose 15 cyarimwe kugira ngo imirimo ishobore gutangira ku gihe byari bigoye there was an element of risk in the sense of taking the decision but also there was an element of hope that it may work people had to have the brief they are capacity to sort out this matter inkiko gacaca dushoje zari zigeze ku manza zigera kuri miliyoni ebyiri close to 2 million dossiers that were judged on account of genocide in our prisons now 
They're only about 37,000. So where are the rest? They've been reintegrated into the community. They're doing community work here and there. They're back, they're living in their communities. There are no villages for survivors and villages for perpetrators. They live side by side, maybe five meters apart. One is a survivor, another one is a perpetrator. And they live together harmoniously in the community. Those that have been released on conditional release on compassionate grounds have found a welcome reception at home, even from the survivors. And when there is community work, the Omuganda, they all go to work together. Muri gacha charero imiri moyosi ikorwa na baturage abacamanza na baturage abatanga buhamya abashinja na bashinjura na baturage abarega na baturage byabaye ngombwa ko abaturage bitanga ntibatinye izuba ntibatinye imvura yemwe sinatinya kuvuga ko batatinye n'inzara n'inyota ariko icyo biyemeje bakakigeraho bakadufasha nk'abanyarwanda bakadufasha nk'igihugu kugera ku ntego twari twihaye dushyiraho inkiko gacaca ibyaha bishya bizaboneka cyangwa se ibyaba bitaratunganye mu mirimo yakozwe n'inkiko gacaca bizakomeza gusuzumwa n'inkiko zisanzwe ndetse na komite z'abunzi kubirebana n'imitungo kuko nkuko twese tubizi uretse n'ibyo inkiko gacaca zaburanishije wenda bikaba byazagaragara mu bibazo ariko nta nubwo twakwihandagaza ngo twemeze ko n'ibya byose bya genocide byaburanishijwe byagaragajwe Justice is based on the truth. Justice is based on fairness. Justice is based on transparency. And I could quote some English writer. I think his name was Graham Greene. And he said, to understand all is to forgive all. Would one not feel pity, even for the planets, if one reached what they call the heart of the matter. When people started talking, when they started sitting together in the gachacha, when they started people exchanging already the seed for reconciliation was planted. Nagira mushimire abanyarwanda muri rusange uruhare bagize mu nkiko gachacha zizasozwa Uyu mwaka twese tuza kamaro zatugiriye mu butabera bwunga zatubereye ikimenyetso cyo kwishakamo ibisubizo nk'abanyarwanda ku bibazo ndetse byagaragaraga ko ubundi bidashoboka ukemwa buri munyarwanda agakora ibishoboka byose ngo yivane mu bibazo bimwugarije akishakamo imbaraga zo kwiyubaka ndetse ibyo byose byaba dushyira hamwe dufatanije bikaduha twese imibereho myiza n'ubuzima bwiza